Hej. Also to say you. <laughs> no, just the cup is good. <laughs> How you doing? I can see. Yeah. You look like you've been punched in the general eyeballs. Yeah, I haven't really slept the last couple of days. I'm sorry, is there a reason that... Uh, just, I haven't slept yet. Everything going okay with the family? Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have See you, dude. Internet. Welcome to real life. I haven't made a life right now video in like a month because this is basically all I've been doing and basically all my videos like this have been have just been showing me working which on one hand I think is kind of interesting to watch. <clears throat> on the other hand it's the same stuff every week and so I was thinking that's going to be boring to watch. I think it'd be better if I just didn't record what I'm doing until something cool happens. Nothing cool has happened really. But it's been a month, so I thought, okay, I'll record this week. Plan is just this this week. If something cool happens, cool. Probably not. It is what it is. And today it's below zero. It's 27 degrees Fahrenheit. It's sunny and dry, and it's been spring-like and nice for three weeks now. So today is the odd day, which is fine. I like working in the cold. But then tomorrow it should start being nice again. And the reason I don't like working in the warm is because, aside from liking the cold, when I'm working in the warm, in the warm, that's what people say, I can't wear this kind of little discreet coat clip. I have to wear like a big old strap over my t-shirt, which is silly. Not that this isn't silly, but anyway. I started early today because I wanted to get a head start, but starting at 10 isn't really a good deal because most people aren't ordering quite this early, but yeah, we'll see what I'm doing this week doordash wise but if you want to watch me pick up more food and drop off more food then you're in luck because that's what I'm going to be doing this is just funny this is a Chipotle catering box and this sign theft is likely yes the blindfolded thieves they only steal things when they can't see they blindfold themselves and they take stuff
Hello, DoorDash. Uh, for? Monica. Okay, I can let her know that it's here. Okay. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Trinity's nuts, Mackenzie's nuts. Okay, I have to be separate. I got two different orders here at Sonic. I gotta go dump this. I had like two sips and it was just too much. It's just too sweet. How about one more sip? It's just too much. Thank you. Yep. Hi. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello. Hi. DoorDash for Sid. Oh, Sydney? It just says Sid or. Yep, got it. Thanks. Thanks. What's this pup story? Um, it's mine. May I pet her? Yeah. Him? Mm -hmm. Her? Yeah. Hi. 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 Cook myself a little lunch. It'll take hopefully not more than 20 minutes. I always try to bring food in the car, and that gets you through most of the day. But if, if there's a chance, like right now, where it's the slow hour, and I have it right by my house anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make something to eat. Let it soak. You know what that means? Soaks to be me. Got my YouTube to watch. Watching one of the original Halo 2 speedruns. I got manipulated into this one. So this order is $2 for 7 miles. But well, it's out of town, so it's really at least 10 miles. And I said no, I took a hit on my acceptance rate, and then the exact same order popped up again. I'm like, okay, that's shitty to do that because now I'm being forced to do it because if I keep saying no, I'll be penalized for it. So obviously I don't wanna do this because this is one of those deliveries where I'm paying to do this delivery. I'm not making any money, I'm, it's gonna cost me money to do it. But that's how that really cool system of your acceptance rate and your level in DoorDash works. Anyway, just pitching that out loud. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Sorry, I just started calling you, so if you hear a phone ring, ignore it. Oh, you're fine. I'll give you that. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I, you I got that. all flustered. <laughs> There's four things in there. Oh, wow. wow. You got them all. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. How's it going? Thank you, too. That's a really nice guy, and he gave me a tip. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. It's really neato. Um, I've accepted a $2 delivery before, because I was like, well, maybe there'll be a tip, and you know, be interesting to see um but I, I drove for like 20 minutes and i got two dollars i was like sweet uh, normally i don't like taking risks like that but doordash basically strong armed me into that delivery i don't like being manipulated like that but it worked out Hi, right, which one of you is Austin? There's a drink too. There you go. Thank you. 
Oh, watch out, it's, it's not quite on. All right, have a good day. Hey, right, boy, what's going on, huh? Yes, hi. <laughs> See right there for the picture. Good boy. All right, bye, poop. Yeah. Can I steal one? Hmm? Can I steal one for me? A cookie? Yeah. You can buy one. All right, me. I'll steal it in exchange for money. So okay, what? Sounds good. Do you have a confetti cookie available, or do you have to whoop, sprinkle it? Um, I yeah, I do have to. I'll do whatever is convenient. If that's not inconvenient, I would like one of those. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Thank you. Right, this will just ask you some questions. That's questions? Are yeah. you hungry? How about that one? Sure. Uh, you can skip that if you don't want to add it. No. Now I have to answer it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. They didn't have a name, so yeah, I realized I didn't give you. Yes, it looks, <laughs> looks like a cookie. There you go. Thank you so have much. a great day. You too. Yikes. Tastes like childhood. Goes down like a brick. It's like, ooh. Yeah, it's fun. Since I'm sitting in traffic. Sitting in traffic is great. Pretty fresh. DoorDash, yeah. Yep. Sharon D, as in Sharon D's nuts. <laughs> the name is literally Sharon D. Thank you so much. Just so people don't think I'm making stuff up. There's like Sharon D. I've heard finance, that's pretty fun. This is a new house out in the country and I had to call the guy because I came from the west but his, his driveway is out here on the south side so it's hard to find a way in here but finally found the place. A lot of gravel roads out here. It would be really fun to be doing this delivery on an adventure bike, but it is what it is. Okay. I thought he was going to be outside to meet me, but I guess not. Have a good day. Thanks. Yeah, I do like coming out in the country. It's so cool out here, but it doesn't pay well to go in the country because it pays you from the distance to the delivery not the distance way out here and then back again i'm not gonna get paid for that time or money spent traveling back but every once in a while i have to take a delivery it doesn't pay as well man i like it out here it's so cool how many books yeah i'm just standing around anyway get out of the way jonathan I think it's quite so discouraging as pain to work past 25 minutes. That's what I made. First world problem. Oh, is that a first world problem? It kind of is a first world problem, but also kind of not. boy welcome back to real life wow okay let me try to keep this story short but you have to hear this story about what's going on with DoorDash so um, Wednesday morning I get up to go out to DoorDash which is my passion which is what I do with my time and uh, strangely uh, I'm unable to dash now which is something you can do if you are a top dasher being having a 70% acceptance rate and other things, but uh, it was my status, top dash was gone, couldn't dash. More than that, uh, you couldn't even schedule 
a later time, just completely locked out. The only thing that was open was the city of Paola, and you can schedule for the city of Paola, which is really weird, like, okay. So, what apparently had happened is, uh, the day before, here comes a fire truck or an ambulance, I can't see because I have my glasses. It's a fire ambulance, okay, it's both. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, the day before on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, I finished with a 69% acceptance rate. So by Wednesday morning, even though it's a rolling status that happens on the first of the month, the next morning, like, ah, you lost your status, and more than that, you're locked out. So anyway, makes no sense. Um, <clears throat> I drove out to Paola, spent three hours and 80 miles to make $20 just to do four more deliveries. I accepted the next four that I got to get my acceptance rate back up to 70, but it stayed locked at 69. Like, okay, this makes no sense. What a waste of time. Anyway, I got a 30 minute window here in Olathe to hopefully accept an order if one comes through and then hopefully um, <laughs> um, get back to 70 and go back to normal. But currently I'm kind of just locked out of DoorDash, which is very strange and stupid. So that's my luck catching up with me. I'm gonna grab a fat soda here, a quick at trip, and then I'll drive out west and hope I get an order, and then hope it puts my acceptance right back to 70, and then hope that tomorrow morning things go back to normal. I recorded this in the store, but there's loud music playing, and I wanna get copyright stricken amongst all my other things of bad luck. So the order I got there said, prepare at 11.30, which I've never seen it before. I, I accepted the order before 11 o'clock, and it's like, accept, make the order at 11.30. So I got an order for something that wasn't even ready yet. Luckily, they are cool there, and she went ahead and just made the order for me early. I still had to wait a while because it wasn't ready, but still. One dumb thing. Let's move on to the next. Let's go to freaking Little Caesars. No hate on them. I do like the pizza, but it is without a doubt the worst restaurant in the city. They're always backed up. They're understaffed, underpaid, over overworked. In short order, my luck has caught up with me. Pulled up to an intersection, busy area, looking for building number 116. These are 600s, there's no 100 here. And I have no idea what this building is, where it is, there's no name on the building, a number that doesn't exist. I'm calling and no one's answering. It's the second time I've called. So I got a ghost order from the gods at DoorDash who would like to see me screwed. This is all so bad that it's becoming funny. Hello? Hello. Hey, hello. Hey there. This is your DoorDash driver. How are you? I'm doing all right, you? Good. I'm having difficulty finding you. The address that I have takes me to somewhere where that address doesn't exist, and I don't know what office I'm supposed to go to. Can you tell me if I have the address right, first of all? It's 116. Well, that more or less fits the description, but what's, can you tell me what the building number is supposed to be? Hello? The address I have is 116. Okay, that's not the address I have. Let me find out where that is. Okay, 16,000 West 116th Street. Yes. And is that in La City of Lenexa? Yeah. Okay, that's why. I'm in the wrong city. Okay, is there a certain entrance I should use? I believe the entry to the building is the west side of the building. So once I approach from the west side, then the entrance is on the left. Okay, I'll be there in about 12 minutes. Thank you, sir. All right, bye. That's a real peeve of mine. When you get here, go left, like, dude. No, right and left are relative terms.
when you get here, do this. Like, doesn't work that way. You don't know what getting here means, where I'm coming from. Boy, boy, I just hope this person is there. <sighs> These two deliveries are gonna take me over an hour. No, whatever, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still plenty of time for things to go wrong. What's up, dude? Hey, hey. It's right there. Awesome sauce, thank you. Yeah, please yeah, check the address good. next time. Yeah. It's very incorrect. Oh, so sorry. It's all right. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. And now, the next order is 17 minutes from here. I've had this order for almost an hour now. Even though he ordered it to be made in the future, this is still gonna be very late and I'm gonna be penalized for this, even though it's completely out of my control. Stacked injustices. Hopefully he's cool about it, that would that, that'd make up for a lot. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you. Went home, felt pretty defeated. And then, it's a busy zone again, so I thought, well, I may as well go out and make a fool of myself. Magdalena. Thank you. That was my eighth order, eighth acceptance. Still stuck at 69. The window for lunch is closed. I'm gonna be locked out again. I could go again at dinner time. I probably will. Because if I hit 10, I feel like such an idiot for even trying, but I'm really trying everything I can. Anyway, I plan is to just head home because I'm gonna be locked out anyway back out here to try again and where does it take me you know where it's taking me fool right to little Caesars oh boy <laughs> oh boy I'm scared Oh my gosh. Normally if you've been waiting at a store for an order for 15 minutes, you can choose to unassign without affecting your completion rate. It's been over 30 minutes. I do not have the option to quit. Holy tits, boys. 
37 minute wait in store. I'm out here making money. I'm out here making stonks. All right. Holy tits. Is that it? Are we fixed? Oh my gosh. It looks like we're good. Come on now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That was it. Was that eight or nine deliveries? Some of the worst deliveries I've ever had to do. Wow, it just like saved me all the bad ones. It took me like two days to make nine deliveries. How long was that? Yeah, it was like seven hours to do nine deliveries. Almost. Wow, anyway, acceptance rate back to 70% and now I have the ability to dash whenever I want. I finally fixed it. Wow, well apparently, I know they updated it. Apparently if you drop below 70, you're screwed. You're just locked out of the Dasher app, so yikes. Wow, well that sucked, but I guess everything's fine now. All that to say, I feel pretty spiritually defeated. That was a big bummer. I try to keep a good attitude, but boy, lost three days of work while well, I worked seven hours and got what I make, like $35. Hell yeah, boy, stocks. Anyway, I think it's fixed now, but let's say first world problems. Is that first world problems? I guess first world problems. Yep, D90. Thank you. Thank you, too. Now this one, when I saw the order, I was like, oh no, it's one of these. So this is McDerald's, not a big surprise, and the order is way out west. And there's a McDonald's between this McDonald's and the house that I'm going to, so... It would have been more better to order from that one. I've had that happen before. I don't know how that happens. I guess mistakes happen, but with a shitty parking job. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was just ready to have a good day. And I pull in here and this address and location makes no sense. So we're back to this again. This never happens, but now that I'm, now that my luck is holding strong, this happens. Hopefully this phone call fixes everything. Your call has been forwarded. Everything is fixed. Oh, that's not far. Okay. I'll be like five minutes and um, would you like me to leave on your door or would you like me to knock to see you? Okay. Okay. Great. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. She said, I put the address in wrong. It's not that number at all. I was like, ah, that makes sense. So yes, the address I had was a non-existent address. She's so nice. I wish you could have heard her voice. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh, it's okay. So anyway inconvenient but totally cool with that you said daisy right yeah there you go bud Thanks so have much. a good day man you too Ah, you look like you're in charge. Yeah, Angela is here, or I can take it either way. All right, we're just going to put it down. I'll, I'll set it down somewhere. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank Have you so a good much. day. Thanks.
Thank you. Yeah, DoorDash for Colin. Thank you. Thank you. We have to make it because for some reason it's just not here. But at least we're making it, it's nice. Must be Marina. Must be who? DoorDash for so Marina. What, what did Marina order? Jay's walk. Order Just one person. Okay. Hello, DoorDash. Um, oh, yeah. Name? Marina. Yeah, there you go. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. As long as it's just one, I sense at least one and a half. So you work for Amazon and DoorDash? Not work for Amazon right now. I used to, but since I bought the jacket, it's a rain jacket I have. Let me keep it. Amazon a burrito. <laughs> Amazon a burrito. That's hey, yeah. I have. I don't have the heart for it. Uh, oh, far less, but you know. I don't know how to put it politely. There are lots of ways to make money, but a lot of money doesn't really amount to much. I love motorcycles, but the the idea of we talk shit for you. Well, that sounds like fun. This is what we do. This is all we do. Well, I have a question for you since you asked me one. Why are you costing me to be a salesman? Asking me about being a salesman. Saying hello. I really appreciate you. That's nice of you to say. But I, I hope you're wrong when you say I have hustle because that's not what I'm interested in. I just want to be friendly. It's just fun. I'm having fun right now, so...
And if you just did you, I appreciate it, but I'm okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, I don't. No. Have a good day. You too. That got under my skin when I think about it. He called my smile that bullshit smile. It's like, oof. I don't think anything needs to be said. Thank you. Thank you. I might need that. Yeah. yeah. I might need that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> Dash. I'm walking in right now. Yep, I think I'm in the right hallway. Yep, I'm here. Yep. Hello, can you take this from me first? I might need to do this on a separate trip because it's a big box, unless you can get it with one hand. There you go. Got it? Yeah. All right. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. have a good day. Thanks. Mine? Yeah. Mercedes N, as in Mercedes Nuts? Yes. Got it right here. Awesome. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Again. Okay. Oh, you closed it? You closed? Um, Sounds like you want to be. What time do you close? Now I'll close. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I was not bugging you. Um, I'll tell you what I'd like, but you tell me if it's stupid and you don't want to do it. No. No, you it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Because some people don't want to do it. Pepperoni stuffed, or what's it called? Double layer pizza. But, if you can, put some mozzarella on the crust and knead that into the crust. If what not, size? well, I don't need a big one, but I think can we do this stuffed in family size, right? And large. Large would be fine. Pop quiz, this is mostly a selfish question. You can have the same answer, but before you did, what was the highlight of your day? Highlight of my day? Yeah. Or if it was that bad, the least bad part. Uh, I slept in all day. I made a breakfast sandwich this morning. Okay, what was the sandwich? Um, an egg, like a sunny side up egg, and ham and cheese. Okay, what kind of cheese? I'm judging you now. American. No, uh, what kind of bread? It's uh, English muffin. Okay, yeah. no sauces, right? Okay, yeah. fancy enough. It was, it was bad, you know, it was kind of good. <laughs> it was worth it. Now why was that the highlight? Because it was just so good or because you wanted to do it for so uh, long? Yeah, usually I just have cereal. So it was nice to not just have cereal. Uh-huh. All right. Well, thank you. I appreciate hearing the highlights. I try 
focus on what the best part of the day is and achieve by getting it from other people as well. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. You too, guys. I can't remember what name joke I made earlier today, but look at this one. This guy's ahead of me. It's gonna be it for the week, but let me record one more clip when I get home. It occurred to me that some of you may not know what Papa Murphy's is. Papa Murphy's is pizza. It's called take and bake pizza. So what that means is they don't cook it, they make it, and then you take it and you bake it. Which is a novelty, I guess, but uh, it tastes really good. And I was thinking, you know, instead of cooking the whole thing like I usually do, and then putting the cooked slices in the fridge to reheat later. What if I just cooked like maybe half the pizza now and then kept the other half and I thought, why don't I just try the air fryer and see if I can cook one piece of pizza in the air fryer. I bet it'll work. Okay, nice, she did it. I asked, can you make roll mozzarella on the crust? Cause that's how I like to make it. You can see that's why this topping here is so small, but yes. Okay, it's a bit of a science pizza today. So I've never, on a pizza cutter. Let's see. Oh, fine. Just use a kniffy. I've never cut a raw pizza. Hold on. I think it's gonna work, but I'm a little scared. That's okay. I'm only gonna test one slice. So I'm gonna use a math, and I'm gonna say that's a slice. Now this pizza is special because <laughs> it's falling apart. Shoot. This pizza is special because uh, it's a stuffed pizza. It's a double layer pizza. Oh boy. Hold strong. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it was sticking to the knife. Okay. I'm gonna say this many minutes. I'll check up on it, but okay. I'll let you know how that goes. It's been there for 10 minutes. I just looked already. But look at that, it looks, I can't see that. That looks cooked. That looks surprisingly cooked. I'm glad I checked, but you know, it, it works like a regular oven, basically. It's just faster because it's smaller. I don't know, I'm not a doctor. But that normally takes like 35 minutes. That was 10 minutes. I won't lie, that looks overcooked. So I'm taking that out. Wow, that looks pretty good. Hope it doesn't suck. I gotta let this thing cool down. Now the moment you all didn't know that you were apparently waiting for, me eating a piece of food at my house. And because I'm a professional, I'm totally not using my phone and a picture of a motorcycle to light me up a little bit. Okay, also I'm gonna cheat and use a fork. That's why I know that this cooked. Yeah, I think so. I gotta get into it, let me do this first. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> Shoot. Are you still here? Are you watching this? If you're here, hi, thanks. This is Patreon people and members on YouTube. So thank you for supporting me. This is the way to do it. Dollar a month on Patreon or the membership on YouTube is $2. Some of you are on YouTube memberships and Patreon. Please don't do that. I was trying to see, I started memberships on YouTube to see if it's more convenient for people. Apparently it's convenient for a lot of you. Um, depending on how convenient or how many people are there, I can just turn Patreon off, but right now most of you are on Patreon. So at least this way you have a choice, you know, whichever one works for you. I guess that works out. So a dollar a month or two dollars a month for YouTube. Um, but then you get your name in the end of my videos. So thank you to all of you. I appreciate you all. Next week, I'm going to talk a lot so this can scroll by pretty slow this time. Um, next week, at the risk of jinxing it and saying what my plan is, my plan is to Spent a lot of time on my computer working on a video that I want to make that most of you probably will not care about. But it's something I've wanted to make for a while now and I have a deadline. I have one month to make it and it's going to take me at least 100 hours to make. So I'm running out of time. Um, that's all I can say. Who knows what's going to happen next week. I think I'll record. Um, I realize my videos are usually just DoorDash, which I think gets boring. But every once in a while I share. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all doing well and being good. And I didn't know how hard I was going to get to talk with a piece of pepperoni right here. Hold my lips down. But um, we'll see each other later. Okay, bye. Oh.